what is WSN? Right now, you know what is sensor and you know what is sensing is all about, what is actuator, what is transducer, right? What is wireless sensor networks, right? Uh, I just said uh, one particular sensor measures the temperature, right? If you're going to use multiple sensors, for example, if you're going to measure a temperature in a particular room or in a particular area, what we have to do is we have to deploy a lot of sensors, correct? Right? So you'll use a lot of sensors, right? So those sensors, the hundreds of sensors, thousands of sensors can form a network that is called as wireless sensor networks, right? And that sensors can be of any number, 100, 1000 or anything that is deployed according to the application, right? And once this sensor is created, sensor network is created, right? Uh, you want to understand that the network has to not only the sensor not only sends the information, what it has to do is it has to communicate with each other node. You can see here, this is one particular network and this is one particular network. This sensor not only sends the information, what but what it has to do is it has to communicate with all these nodes, correct? If you take this particular sensor, it not only gives the information here, right? But also it has to communicate with this neighbors, it has to get their data, it has to fuse that data, it has to send the information to the base station. Correct. So what you have to understand here is now the sensor not only senses the information, what it does, does it, it performs, it, it, it gathers the information, right? It communicates, it processes the information and sends the information, transmit the information to the base station. Correct. Right. And even further, I will say that these sensor nodes can communicate with each other. And also there will be a central unit, right? Central processing uh, station, which can be called as base station, right? Uh, it can also send the information to that particular base station, right? And now the base station can be connected to an internet or to a different network where those information can, can be visualized. It can be stored. We can analyze those information, right? That is called as wireless sensor network applications, right? So even in military, if you want to monitor the enemy's troops, right? What we can do is we can deploy some sensor network, right? Some sensors, it will create a network and we can get the information from that particular sensor network, right? And those information can be stored in the internet for further processing, storage and all those things, right? And why is that I'm speaking about this particular wireless sensor network here? You want to understand right now, sensor gathers, that is, senses the information, which is nothing but gathering the information. It communicates the information and processes the information. It does all these three processes, right? So now, if you want, if it needs to perform all these three processes, then whatever application which we use, it has to support, it has to have, it has to be equipped with all those components, right? So now, this sensor network can be applied in various applications. We will see detailed applications in the next video. But I have already discussed about the applications of wireless sensor networks in previous videos as well, right? So you can see that it is used to monitor uh, wildlife, right? It is used to monitor uh, structure of the building, right? Uh, the, the health of the building, the health of the bridges, right? Uh, in medical applications for monitoring patients, etc. In almost all fields, we use wireless sensor networks, right? Depending upon the application, right, the number of nodes will increase, the data processing will increase, the speed, the processor, the components, everything will vary, right? And now we take a simple example how a sensor node it will be. This is a simple sensor node where you can see two different sensors here. And if you say a sensor node, it will have all these components. It will have a microcontroller, it will have an external memory, it will have a trans receiver, it will have a power resource, right? It will have analog to digital converter. These are the very basic elements of a sensor node, right? And you can see here two different sensors, sensor one and sensor two are connected to analog to digital converter, which means that it gathers the information and gives that information to analog to digital converter where the signal is converted to digital form and then it is sent to a microcontroller here. There I said base station, correct? Right here, the basic central processing unit will be a microcontroller in most of the nodes, correct? And the microcontroller performs, process all the informations, 
correct? And if you, you want to store the information, right, for processing or for storing the information, you can use external memory for it. And also for communicating, to transfer the data, you have trans receiver. That is, each and every node has to transfer the data and also it has to receive the information from other node. So, it, there will be a trans receiver which performs transmitter and as well as receiver. And there will be a power resource, power source for it. And this is very, very important because the only drawback in sensor node is the power source. The power source will be uh, like a very small battery or a rechargeable battery, something like that, right? So, we cannot be able to use sensor node for a more, for a longer time period, right? Which means we have to recharge the battery or we have to replace the battery, right? That is a very important challenge in sensor node, right? And this microcontroller, it can be even a processor, right? Depending upon the application, it can be a digital processor or field programmable array processor or ASCII processor, a different process, right? We will see all these things in subsequent videos, right? So for what I have explained in the sensor node, I have, I have given us as notes here, right? I have spoke about microcontroller, uh, about different processor, correct? And what is the use of trans receiver and external memories and all those things, right? So today what we have seen here is we have seen basics about WSN, the motivation of WSN, what is the important definition for sensing, what is sensor, what is actuator, how the data is collected and what is how the data is actuated, right? And at last, we have seen a simple example for a sensor node, right? I believe this will be, video will be a very useful for you. Thank you, students. Thank you, students. Thank you for watching. Kandipa in the video, you will be useful. Subscribe, passionate professor, and keep learning. Thank you very much.